Hello and welcome to another educational video about screen printing by Catspit Productions. Today's video is a quick tips video. Quick tips for screen printing. And this is another video that has been inspired from posts on the Catspit Productions Learn How to Screen Print forum. So if you haven't signed up for that yet and you haven't used it yet, please do because I am trying to encourage the use and have most of the questions asked about screen printing go onto the forum so that it helps everyone and that way it builds the content of the forum and my helping an individual or answering one question in the long run will help many people when it's on the forum so I thought that we should try to encourage the use of the forum okay so we're picking topics from the forum to make videos from and this weekend you know we had just this past week actually we had a couple of posts about topics that led me to believe we need to talk about mesh preparation okay so what we're looking at here is is just kind of the basics of mesh preparation and I want to just stress the importance of two different kinds of mesh preparation that you're basically going to do in the shop in your shop as a commercial screen printer you're going to have two different types of mesh preparation typically we can say there are two types of screens that we have to prepare for emulsion in the screen printing shop the first of which will be a brand new screen that has never been used before ever to print anything this is the screen that you just bought from your print supplier and you just got it through your shipping carrier and it's just brought into the shop never used before brand new mesh the second type of screen we could say that most shops are gonna have of course is the used screen right the screen that has been used to print and it's been reclaimed and like this one needs a little bit more cleaning but uh, something like this it's been used it's 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 an old mesh okay this is something that we're going to reuse to make shirts again all right so there are two types of screens the brand new screen and the screen that we're going to reuse the used screen okay so the reason why mesh preparation is so important and the reason why it's important to note that there are really two different types is because whether or not you get through the washout phase of you know washing out the stencil in the washout booth if the mesh hasn't been prepared properly the emulsion is not going to want to stay adhered to the mesh even if you got off a good burn okay with detail and everything you can have poor mesh adhesion which means the emulsion can peel off or come away from the mesh at several different points along the process it could happen when you're washing it out meaning maybe you bring the screen from the exposure table you put it in the washout booth and you wash it out and you get all you know you get your stencil out but maybe you're working a small area with detail and as you work all of a sudden some of the fine areas of your stencil pull up and start to flap away from the mesh okay that's poor emulsion to mesh adhesion so what you need to do is make sure that the mesh is prepared properly so that the emulsion will want to stick to it and that means we have to consider what screen are we working with what's what's going on right so the first one is the brand new screen this is a brand new screen it's never been used before okay so when we go to put this in the washout booth and prep that screen for usage what you want to do is abrade the mesh okay now what that means is you you've got to rough up the mesh a little bit because it's brand new polyester threads or fibers and they're slick so the emulsion doesn't really have a place to bite onto the threads so what we do is normally there there'll be a product you know you have a screen printing product that you're going to use as part of your mesh preparation process that will slightly abrade the mesh and it is recommended that you use a mesh abrader for screen printing because the particle size of the abrasive in there is small enough that it won't damage the mesh but it allows for the emulsion to grab to it okay so it's really important when you're working on press with a screen say you you did not abrade this screen and you coated with emulsion and you got through your washout and you're on press well the 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 ink and solvents and you know working with the screen on press and with the ink and stuff like that at some point the emulsion may start to peel off it could wrinkle it could do a lot of weird things when it's not really adhered to the mesh okay so that's why it's important it's really important okay and 
The second type, okay, is the used screen, right? We said we have the used screen. Now, it's important to prepare this for mesh, uh, you know, emulsion coating as well. Mesh prep, you gotta mesh prep this too. But this one, we're basically going to use a degreaser, okay? Because you know that standard mesh prep is basically degreasing. Well, with the new screen, we're going to abrade the mesh a little bit, and then we're going to degrease it, and we're going to rinse it off. With the old screen, a used screen, we don't want to abrade this mesh anymore because it's already been done once, hopefully, the first time when you bought it, right? The first time you used it, okay? So, and also, the usage of screen printing can cause mesh wear. So when you mesh prep a used screen, you don't want to abrade the mesh at all. You just want to soap it up and remove the dirt and grease and uh, all that kind of stuff away from the mesh, okay? So that's basically it. You have two types of mesh prep that you want to do. A brand new screen is going to be abraded, rough up the fabric a little bit just so the emulsion has something to bite on, and you're going to degrease it and rinse it thoroughly, okay? A used screen, you're just going to degrease with soap, with the degreaser soap, and I don't, I, I mean, you know, a screen printing product meant for degreasing is always best to use, that's what I'll recommend, okay? So we degrease it and rinse it down and it's good to go. So there's two types, two different ways to do mesh prep depending on whether you're using a brand new screen or an old screen. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks a lot for watching. Please sign up for the forum on the Catspit Productions website. Visit the Catspit Productions website at catspitproductionsllc.com and check out the forum. Visit the forum, post your questions on the forum. I really appreciate that. Use the forum. If you like what you see, rate thumbs up, comment below, please subscribe. Now I'm a robot. We'll see you guys next time. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Oh, that's a sure way of ending the videos.